Hello, welcome to the NI parking lot. Today we're talking about the range of your data acquisition devices. The resolution of a camera is defined in megapixels. This is essentially the amount of pixels that fit into the frame of any one image of your video. That resolution is spit evenly across the entire frame of any individual shot. Now, in this frame, we are capturing this whole parking lot, which is a magnificent structure. But the thing we're asking the users to view, you at home to view, is very, very small. We are effectively wasting the resolution of this beautiful camera by having me be so far away. Now, I know that you, the viewer at home, would never make this mistake. You've had a smartphone for years. You know how to frame your shots. And yet, we often see engineers do the exact same thing with their data acquisition devices. They'll take a 10-volt card, measure a 1-volt or less signal, and waste 90% of their resolution by choosing the wrong input range for their device. In our last video, we talked about resolution. In DAC, resolution is the total number of levels that a signal can be. A DAC card with a 3-bit resolution has 2 to the power 3 total logic levels available, or 8 total values that can be used to represent the signal. Let's dive into an example. The resolution of a DAC card applies across its total input range. In this case, our card has a minus 10 to 10 volt input range. Now, a 3-bit resolution is pretty bad. You won't see that on any cards out in the market. But with a 3-bit resolution, you could pretty easily understand this 10 volt waveform, right? It at least maps to the waveform. Consider if instead you wanted to measure a signal that was only 2 volts. Suddenly, your data isn't looking like a curve, you have a square wave on your hands. If you tried to measure a 500 millivolt signal, you'd just be reading a straight line. 3-bit resolutions are laughable in the DAC world, but remember that a high-resolution DAC card can be really expensive. If you're only reading a fraction of the range of your device, like reading a 1-volt signal with your 10-volt card, you're effectively wasting 90% of the resolution that you paid for. So easy enough, right? Just keep your input range tight on your measurements, and then you'll always make sure that you're capturing just enough and getting your resolution just right. Well, not exactly. You see, there are changes that we can't always account for as engineers when we're trying to take our data. You could have a power surge, or a feedback loop you weren't expecting or any number of other things that bring your amplitude just a little bit outside of the range of the frame you so carefully set up. That can be an even bigger problem because you might miss data that's incredibly crucial for your experiment. So, when you are designing your test, you need an input range that is close enough that you can capture all the detail you need to, but far away enough that you can still see the spikes when you have to. Luckily, in DAC, there is an easy way to have it all in the form of selectable input ranges, like this guy has. A selectable input range lets your hardware determine what range it should spread its resolution over. If we take that 3-bit resolution card we explored earlier as an example and try reading that 2-volt measurement again, but this time with the card having a selectable input range. Now we can tell our DAC card to use its resolution to focus on this 2 volt to minus 2 volt range. And now our resolution is vastly improved for this smaller measurement. Most high quality data acquisition cards will come with some form of selectable input range. These are big investments after all, and they should be useful for a variety of different test and measurement types, both measurements that are a little smaller and measurements that are a little larger. So there's your buyer's tip for this week. Find a card with variable input ranges to make sure you can tackle tomorrow's measurement just as well as today's. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click over to one of our other videos to learn more or check out the range of data acquisition devices on ni.com in the link below. Please click soon. This is uncomfortable for us both. <laughs>